It's in you. You were made to fly. Lions roar. Ha. Something will happen right now. Some people are about to be catapulted into the next level by force. You can cause forceful advancement. When it looks like there's no progress, you can fight your way to the next level. Oh yeah, push that door open. Everybody pray in the Holy Ghost. You must be angry. Oh. I'm telling you, 96% of people hearing me are not in where they're supposed to be. It's in you. How can your parents move when you are not moving? Let the lions roar. Oh yeah, faster! If you don't get angry, you remain here. It takes anger to enter your next level. The angels are here. Are you ready? Why will a lion be speaking like a goat? How can you chase a lion? Say no, leave this place. Lions take charge. They dominate. They roar. Come on. We must be angry praying the Holy Ghost. That's why you came today. Lions roar. Elemenakambete. Get angry, get angry. This is not where you're supposed to be, oh. You are above this level. Something is keeping you down. Get angry. Since you were born, they have been prophesying. She is great. God wants to use her. She will wipe the tears of her family. Till today, there's no sign. Because when they prophesy, Satan had it and started fighting you. He's making you prayerless because he knows how much of a warrior you are. He knows that if you can't pray, you can't fight. Pray in the Holy Ghost. This is not a normal service. If you don't pray, look at the life of your parents. They told you, you do better than them. You're already 23. You're already 18. Nothing has changed. Do you think your parents wanted to be like that? You think your dad wanted to be like that? The same power that bent him over wants to bend you and you are keeping quiet. This is not where you ought to be, oh. Jesus, Jesus, get angry, get angry. Something must change. Sheba katakata, barra teke teke te. Pray the Holy Ghost. Something must change. I cannot continue like this. Enough is enough. Something must change. Barra teketesh, retekete barra kataria. Get angry, get angry. Enough is enough.
get angry. Look at your life. Look at your life. What do you see in your dream? What do you see physically? Why are the good things not happening? The bad ones are happening. For as soon as Zion travel, she will keep it. If Zion can travel, she will keep it. Yeah, yeah. I changed my story by force. He le paniada. He said, and when you are tired, when you cannot take it again, the yoke will break off your neck. How long will you endure? Uh -huh. We say no. We say no to you. No to your works and no to your plans. No to your works, we say. Satan be gone. Shepa kata kata, rete kete le brande kata, rete bakosko baba kata, rete kete kete, baratos kata ba, reba ta kompra ta. Get angry, get angry. How long will you suffer? Satan be gone. Listen, let me tell you something. See, the world you live in is dark. Dark. Forget prophecies. Oh. If you don't fight, let me tell you something. If God says it, there are signs. If you're not seeing signs of prosperity, signs of greatness, then you must fight. If you keep your mouth shut, Satan will bury you. The world, Bible said, the whole world. Riot in wickedness. People are wicked, I'm telling you. Everybody around you does not want you to prosper. You think it's a joke. They have been prophesying. You have seen it in your dream. Your dream life, your physical life, they are two different things. In the dream, you heal the sick, raise the dead. Physically, you are sick, you are almost dying. In your dream, you are giving birth of rice to countries. Physically, there is no food in the house. And you know, it looks like God will soon do it. It's a lie. Oh. It's a lie. Don't be deceived. Shall a nation be born in one day? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? He said, but as soon as Zion travels, she will give birth.
You're going to pray one prayer point. Listen. You're going to pray one prayer point. And we close. Something's about to happen, right? We are paying attention to alignment in seasons. We have stepped into the season of revival. The Lord told me, I'm feeling you so you can feel others. That's what he says. So that you can feel other people. That's why I'm doing this to you. Do you know that you can be in prophecy and be covered? Satan can stand and say, you will not enter. Paul said, I want to come to you once and again. He said, but Satan stopped me. Satan, meaning your breakthrough can tell you, I want to come to you once and again, but Satan hindered me. He said, lift up your head, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye ancient doors. Let me tell you something. I know what God said, but I know how it comes to pass. It's by warfare. If you have not won, don't stop fighting. Do you get what I'm saying? If you have not won, don't stop fighting. I saw a cloud of darkness covering people's prayer life. They don't see a need to pray. It's not like they don't want to pray, but there's no need. Let me tell you what he does. When you want to get angry, eh? That there's no money in the house. Somebody will send you 10,000. You will not rest. That's what he does. When you are angry that there's no money, nothing's happening, they will just send you 5K. When you say, okay, thank God, God is... That, he has been doing that for many years. Some of you don't know that that's a strategy. You are a billionaire, but you are still having 5K. He has kept you bound. You know your problem? You think you are still young. Maybe if you grow, it will happen. Some of us, we have grown, we have not seen it. <laughs> I want to help you get your destiny on time. You must learn to war. Blessed be the God of David. He teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. You're going to pray just one prayer. Are you ready? See. When we pray, don't stop till I tell you to stop. Are you getting me? That's all we are doing. Once it's time, we'll close. Are you getting me? You know why we're going to pray this prayer? Don't stop. Even if you feel we keep praying. You will pray it that even when you go, you cannot stop praying it. Some of you, as you are praying, your eyes will be opening. You will not start seeing what Satan has delayed. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I can set you down and teach you the Bible. But let me tell you, it takes a good leader, a good pastor to know what Satan is doing in the congregation. That's why you can receive the word of God and nothing is changing because there's something bothering you. If you don't have money, you will not be happy. hope you know that. If there's no money, you cannot be happy. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are going to pray concerning breakthroughs. Listen, you must break through today. If a woman is in the labor room, if she keeps quiet, the child will stay inside. But when she push, the child will come out. Are you getting me? Are you getting what I'm saying? If you keep quiet, you will remain like that. I'm telling you. I saw Satan closing some churches. I said, what is happening? God says, you are in the last days. Evil has increased. While men slept, I will bless you. It's time to gift you. Don't worry, I will give you tomorrow. When tomorrow reach, something will happen. As it's close, they just, you just turn back. You don't receive it again. And you're wondering what is causing it. You think it's normal. Every time you receive money genuinely, it will not come. But if you compromise, it will come. What is it doing to you? If you don't get angry, let me tell you something. You must get angry. He told Esau, he said, but when you cannot take it again, if you can still take it, if you are enjoying it, you are enduring it, you keep suffering. 
He said, but the moment you cannot take it again, he said, you will break his yoke off your neck. One day, 20, was it 2018 or so, let me share this. And anybody in this cage will come out. I had a dream. I prayed and prayed and prayed. I was suffering from lust. I had a dream. In that dream, I saw myself coming out. It was a desert. I was coming out, coming out, and I got to the gate. When I got to the gate, I saw a lot of young people like myself, plenty in the room. They caged us. When I got to the gate, I wanted to escape. I tried to open the door and pass. There were some strong men there. They gave me like five blows, and they told me, go back. When I went back, I saw everybody naked, masturbating, doing things. Then I saw myself, so I cannot go out. They said, get out. And I went back inside that place. And I continued suffering from lust. You know that that lust you are suffering from is not you. They locked you inside a cage. It takes warfare to break out. Are you ready? Are you ready? What is the prophecy over your life? What is the prophecy over your life? You know why you don't see a need to fast and pray? You don't see a need because he's blinding your eyes. He's giving you small, small things. Though that's your shirt. That's your dress. That's your wig. That's your shoe. So you will not rest. I feel like at this, at this I get transport to go to church. When in the realm of the spirit, it has been marked that from 19 years, you are a millionaire. Are you getting what I'm saying at all? I want you to pray because I want the Lord to open your eyes to see. If some of you see what was written about you, you will catch the devil and tear him apart. Are you ready to pray? Rise up on your feet if you're sitting. Tani yotu beka wo Vivo she baba loki Tani yotu Loki Now listen, the Holy Ghost just gave me a prayer point. You're going to pray it and we'll shout Jesus three times and you will come out. You know, some of you don't even dream. That's even the worst. You don't even dream. So you don't even know what is even happening. Whether you are in a cage or in a prison, you don't even know. If you are in a prison, how will your destiny ever see you? How will he meet you? Why is there so much delay? What is delaying this thing? Some of you know you have worked on yourself. God has worked on you. But you are not seeing the benefits. You are not seeing the reward. What is happening? Satan is snatching it. Every cage. Listen. Every cage that I am in whether I know I don't know in the name of Jesus I break out are you ready to pray are you ready to pray listen as you are praying pay attention to your mind forget your friend because I want you to see those visions will make you pray if you don't see you can't pray well believe me you begin to God will begin to speak to your mind are you ready to pray you don't have time any cage that I am in anywhere I am being caged whether I know or I don't know, in the name of Jesus, I break out. Lift your voice and pray. Kai, I thought you would pray better. Anywhere they caged me, without my knowledge, my knowingly or knowingly, I break out. I break out by force. I force my way out.
Come on, pray. Oh. I break out. I enter my promised land. Come on, pray. Pray against chains of delay. Every chain around me that is holding me bound. I break that chain and I make progress. I break that chain and I make progress. I advance, Sakatakatalia. What held my mother back cannot hold me back. Very soon I'll be blessed. Very soon, very soon, and it does not come. I scatter that chain. Jesus, Jesus. Listen. Listen. Some of you know how much you love God. You know how hardworking you are. Imagine there were no demons. Where will you be? Why are you not there? If you have ever experienced shut, closed doors, you need to pray. <laughs> you need to pray. Satan wants to frustrate you out of the kingdom. I'm telling you. I have seen this in many times in my visions. He wants to frustrate many believers out of the kingdom. You will not take God serious anymore. You want to buy God and from there hit something and just collapse somewhere. And get tired of God. Listen. Just pray it. It's not for everybody but for a lot of people. While you are praying... The deliverance will happen to you right now. The mark will clean. Every ancient mark. Repeat after me. Say every ancient mark. Say every ancient mark. Every ancient mark. On my head. On my head. That is causing the world no in the realm of the spirit. That is refusing me access. It is erased by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Just pray it. I saw ancient marks on people's heads. In Jesus mighty name now this is the last prayer point please pray this practically everything stopping you listen let me tell you something about about this thing see if you are not making progress you will leave God mark me mark my words I know you say you love Jesus 
if there's no progress in a believer's life, you will leave Jesus. Believe me. You will fold that love and drop it somewhere. Satan knows where to attack. You're not the first person that started praying in tongues. This is not the first church. He knows where to attack. He knows the parts where if you touch, you will be frustrated. He will go and stand at that place. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You're going to pray that anywhere Satan is standing. Because as we are praying, I was seeing something like a door and like barricades, things blocking us. Listen, you're going to break it and move forward. Are you ready to pray? I'm going to pray for us after now. But I beg you, please pray. You must make progress spiritually, financially, academically, everywise. Everybody you see, look at Joshua Sema's life. You are seeing the love for God is increasing. It's not just because he loved Jesus. It's because somehow those things were met. The needs were met. Are you getting me? Results are powerful. I believe in results. If you just keep people, tell them, love Jesus, don't worry, you will soon do it. When will he do it? Gideon asks, where are the miracles our fathers told us? Where are the results? If you walked with them like this, then why are we suffering in our time? Are you ready to pray? Everything standing in my way of progress. By the power of God, I bring you down and I make progress. Lift your voice and pray. Anything, any level at all, standing, anything standing in my way of progress. I bring you down and I advance. I make progress. I make progress. I make progress. Where's darkness at the sight of light? Evaporated at the gleams of light. You're the light that make my face shine bright. As I look your face, I become the light. Himaladeo kuku parada. Himaladeo kuku parada. Him. Every addiction, I break out in the name of Jesus. Hey, Himale. I break out of that addiction. Barataka, I beg you pray. I beg you pray. Listen, listen, listen. Let me teach you something fast. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, listen. When you start out with God, right? There are some things if you do, engage him, he will allow you pass. You keep making progress. And enter the addiction, whatever it is, you keep making progress. There are some things you do, you still make progress. There are levels you enter. For you to enter the next level, you must drop those things. Satan knows. So when you are close to that level, he will not amplify it. If it's anger, it will magnify. If it is loss, it will increase. And Satan knows that in the spirit realm, you can enter with the next level with this thing. So he will now send all the demons in charge of that thing. They will not strengthen that weakness. He knows it. Are you getting me? Do you get what I'm saying? He knows that what qualifies you to your next level, you can't go with those things. So we amplify it and increase it. Are you ready to pray? Everything in my life that is present in me, that is not allowing me to enter my next level, I drop it down right now. Lift your voice and pray. I pull that old garment. I beg you, pray. First of all, every one of us that is stagnant, that is stuck, the river is no more flowing, no more encounters, no more visitations, and they are not even concerned. No more encounters like before, and they are not concerned. Okay? But there's going to be a release of spiritual vertical right now. The river will break loose. That fountain will break. I bring that out. Satan told you God will not use you. He's a liar. Get out of our mind. You are mad. Get out. 
that voice speaking to you, get out! Or your angels fill out with fresh fire. The Lord said, your time has come. Look at, they are removing something from somebody's stomach. You think it's a child, but it's fibroid. Spiritually, it's not, it's, that's not the main thing God wants to give you. That's not the result. Fast, there are 12 of you right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six. Where are the first six? Touch them. Touch them! Faster, faster, faster. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch, 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 touch. Okay. That chain, that lock in your heart, I break it right now and I release light into your heart. You will not be able to stand this one. At the count of three, Everybody, just whisper Jesus. Don't even shout. One, two, three. Whisper his name. Touch them. Whisper his name again. Whisper that name again. Whisper his name again. Ah, the river is rising. Ah. Whisper his name again. Whisper his name again. Look at his eyes. He's standing before you. Whisper his name. Whisper his name. seen him already. Whisper his name again. Keep calling his name. Keep calling him. Keep calling his name. There is spiritual progress happening. Call his name again. Whisper his name. Whisper his name again. Call him. Call him, keep calling him until you see his face. Call him until you see his face. That's it, that's it. Help that lady. Help this lady. Keep calling him. I hear him say, Olu, I told you, you are my own. That's what I heard him say. He said, You have been bought with a price. Jesus is everywhere. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, encounters. Jesus. Jesus. Help him. Jesus.
is stopping you from making progress spiritually. At the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus and that thing will give way. Are you ready? At the count of three, you shout Jesus and that thing will give way. You begin to fly. Satan will just put load on you spiritually so that you cannot pray, you can't fast. You are thinking as a young person, what are you thinking about? Are you ready? At the count of three, lift your voice and shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Receive it. Fire. Fire. Let them go. 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 Get out. Get out. Get out. Lose them and let them go right now. Are you ready to receive a garment of fire? That's what keeps you going. The Bible says a fire devoured before them and behind them a flame bonnet. We are a generation of fire. Are you ready? You're going to lift your voice and shout fire. It depends on how much you want it. If you know you are hungry for this fire, please take advantage. As you shout fire, some of you will feel like something new has come upon you. You lift your voice and shout fire. At the count of the Father, let there be releases of garments of fire upon your children right now. As you shout fire, let fire fall. In the name of Jesus, I open the floodgates of fire. I speak to the east wind. I open the east gates. And I declare, let that fire come into this room right now. As you shout this fire, your spiritual life will take a flight. One, two, three, shout fire. Receive it, 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 fire, receive it, shabakate. Receive fire. Fire. Ah, 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 don't ah, your hands. Let me pray for you. Every dormant gift in you right now, I stretch this apostolic rod and I command that as I count one to three, every gift that your destiny needs that is in you, that your destiny needs for this time, I command it to be activated this moment and this second. At the count of three, Father, Touch them as many as have many those that have gifts that are hiding that are dormant, the ones that Satan has covered. As I count one, two, three, let those giftings be unveiled. One, two, three. I stretch out my hands, touch them, find them out, and activate right now, right now, right now, right now. Those prophetic gifts, those healing gifts, those mantles, touch them, touch them. Touch them, activate it. I release spiritual awakening. Just like the days when power band us in, your powers remain the same. Yet you never anointing for Lord. Come, touch her. Come, will I see? Come, stand here. Just like lift your hands up. Power by the sea. Your power should be in the sea. Now, let me tell you something. Every time Jesus wants to send people, he anoints them. That's why he sang that song. 
You are about to receive an anointing that will push you to the next realm. Are you ready? Lift your hands up. That's why I called her out because I saw the anointing point on her head already. You are about to receive an anointing that will push you forward. Believe it. You will never be limited. One day I prayed and when I finished praying, the Lord told me, I have given you an unstoppable grace. Some graces can be stopped. Some people can be stopped, but others are unstoppable. Anything that comes, they crush it. Anything they jam, they crush it. You are about to receive something that will change your life forever. Lift your hands and close your eyes. You were born to fly. Car. I believe in speed. I believe in it. I don't believe I should stay plenty years before God begins to do those things with me. I will yield to him quickly. But Satan will not delay me. Lift your hands high now. Close your eyes. This is the last thing. And I'll make the altar call. Please lift your hands. Receive his anointing. Father, I stretch forth my hands. And I ask that you anoint these ones with a new anointing for exploit. The anointing to do well. The anointing to make progress. The grace that nothing can stop. Not even powers from your father or mother's house. I stretch forth my hands right now. And angels of the Lord begin to anoint them as I count one to three. Heavy anointings. You are stepping out oh, after now. Believe me. The anointing for your destiny. That's what's coming upon you. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good for God was with him. As I pray for you right now, from tomorrow, some of you will begin to step out. Your ordination will begin to speak. Your hearts will be exalted. At the count of three, receive that anointing. One, two, three. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. I stretch out my hands. Help her. Receive it. Receive it. Some of you think you are joking. Fire is on your head right now. Your hands are catching fire. Your tongue is catching fire. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Baratesh, Sheketesh. Anointing for wealth. Keletele Kata. Touch them, touch them, touch them. Receive it. I command go and become productive. Anything you touch will work. I command that business to move to the next level. I anoint you a millionaire in a short time. You will never be less than a millionaire anymore. Kapala Tosha. I open doors of foreign currencies. Doors of foreign currencies. I open it and I bring you into those doors. No more suffering. I release the anointing for ease. The anointing for ease. You will not struggle to get things done. I release the anointing for favor. I release the anointing for favor. I release the anointing for favor. People will favor your order. Now I release the anointing for speed. At the count of three, chariots of fire, carry them to their next level. One, two, three, pick them, pick them, pick them, pick them, pick them. Speed, speed, speed. your intellectual capacity I declare become super intelligent become super intelligent become super intelligent like Daniel I declare the solution that kings need is in your hands wherever you are they will look for you they will seek you and get their solutions from you the Lord will give you ideas what billions in the name of Jesus Christ I declare you are blessed you will not be wealthy when you marry. You are wealthy right now. I change your status. You are not broke. You are not poor. The Lord lifts you up in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare it is settled. It is settled. It is settled. Look at me, everybody. Look at me. I don't care what you are. As far as you are, you are looking at me now and you are here today. If people have told you you are poor, as I speak now, I stand by the horn upon my head 
except God didn't call me. If anybody has called you poor, anybody has said, I hate poverty. Yo. I hate poverty, I'm telling you. If anybody has called you poor, if there's a mindset in your mind, if I lift your hands up, I release the anointing of God. If there's anything in you that is capable of keeping you poor, I say count one to three, let it give way. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Anything that can make you poor in life, I scatter it by fire. I release wealth. Let me tell you, in this season, since September, I've been seeing wealth. If we're not seeing it manifest, it's not because God has not released it. It's because Satan is holding something. That's why you must be angry. This night, I'm sure you wake up and pray. Don't keep quiet. Don't be silent. I release the anointing for wealth. That anointing that attracts, attracts money from everywhere. Gold, lands. I declare you own estates at a young age. The riches of the Gentiles come into your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you are favored. I declare you are the one that we pick to be blessed. If people want to bless anybody, they will pick you in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, I declare open heavens over your life. Open heavens. Let the angels come and minister to you. Some of you don't know what this means. You, from today, you will experience it. There are angels that are sent to minister. When you are weak, the assignment is to make you strong. Believe what I'm saying. You don't know it, but I pray for you right now. From today, let the angels that minister to the saints minister to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ.